Hey everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Hope you're doing well and staying warm during this really, really cold snap in our nation. And I've got a really pretty pink Electra 210. We've painted it, obviously not the original color, but hot mambo pink. So this is an electric typewriter with a power return. And we will type here in just a second. But first, let me show you around. You've got your paper holder, your margins, press and drag. Okay, back and forth. Carriage levers are these black levers behind. You just pull it forward. And this machine is super, super clean. I mean, the roller doesn't have any, a lot of times the rollers, you know, have um, marks on them and the roller looks really clean. Um, on the right side, that's your paper release. Left side, here's your line selector. When you hit the return handle, it'll um, either advance one, two, or three lines. Also, um, over on this side, you'll see that the knob, hold on, the knob kind of sticks out here. If you press in that knob, oops, while turning the handle, it releases the roller, and so if you turn the handle normally, you'll hear the clicks. Okay, that clicks every half a line. And uh, sometimes though, it doesn't line up just right. And so to, um, instead of kind of taking the paper out and reloading it over and over and over, you just press this in and you can kind of do a little bit of fine adjusting with that. Okay, so let's open up the top and inside. You'll see we've put in a universal ribbon. It's a two color, black on top, red on bottom. When you change it out, make sure it's threaded properly through these guide wires. You'll find an up close photo of this area on our product listing. The link is in the description below. Even if this product is sold, you can look at the photos and um, you know save that picture for your reference. Okay, and then remember that um, you have to reverse the direction of your ribbon because there's a lot of ink on there. So when you get to the end of your ribbon, it's not the end of your ink. And um, you just reverse the direction back and forth dozens of times before you need to change out that ribbon. And you reverse the direction right here on the left side, I said rib rev, just flip that. Um, this is your tab set and clear. I will say, um, the tab doesn't work very well on this. I'll be honest, a lot of typewriters, the tabs don't work very well. And some typewriters don't even have the tab option because it's really not something most people use unless you're trying to set columns. Um, so it, it's probably not a feature you're gonna use anyway. It's, um, but I'm uh, on this typewriter, it just doesn't work that great. And honestly, a lot of them don't work, so. Um, that wasn't a surprise. Even though this typewriter is really clean and it looks like it was hardly ever used, but often those tabs are just not, just don't work very well. Okay, color selector, it's on black. You flip it down for red. Um, right here is your power switch. Um, this is a power return and I recommend using, um, underneath this, I have one of the non-slip pads because especially electric typewriters and ones with power returns, it makes the, um, typewriter shift around a lot. And so you'll end up realizing how much you love the non-slip pads when using that. Okay. Let's go ahead and load some paper and do our typing demo. And you just set the paper right there, turn the handle. Put, make sure the paper goes underneath the metal bar. I bring it all halfway up to make sure it's nice and even. It's perfect, it loaded even. Now if it hadn't, then you pull this lever forward and you can adjust your paper. Make sure it's realigned. And I wanna make sure my margins are where I want them to be. Flip that baby up and let's go ahead and turn this on and do some typing. So this is a 1970s Smith Corona 
Electra 210. I love the Electras. They are fantastic machines. Um, if you have small hands, it's super easy. If you're a fast typist, um, if you're uh, for kids, even the littlest of kids, it's uh, the keys are very, very easy to use. It's much more similar to a computer keyboard than manual typewriters are. <clears throat> and so for that reason, I highly recommend the Electra series and they're getting harder and harder to find. Um, I will just say that um, be, please be careful when purchasing typewriters. Um, people are getting on the bandwagon and so they're buying up, they're going to a lot of the places that we look for typewriters, snatching them up and so they're they're pushing the prices way up and then either keeping it for themselves and contacting us and others to help them give free advice to fix their typewriter or they're slapping them on eBay and Etsy and hiking the prices up without doing any work. So please do your research. Whoever you purchase your typewriter from, make sure you know the level of service they're providing, that it's cleaned, that they've got new ribbons in it. I do have a blog post on my website at jotandtittletypewriters.com that talks about what to look for when buying a vintage typewriter and also read the difference between um, serviced, refurbished, and restored and the prices difference in that. And there's also a blog post about what prices you can expect. Though honestly, that's gonna vary because every month, every day, the prices are changing because it's getting harder and harder to find typewriters, especially these electrics. They used to be easy to find and affordable and our price has increased, um, you know, tenfold easy tenfold on these typewriters and so we're having we're having to slowly and regularly update our prices to reflect what it costs us to acquire them okay all that being said please do your research these are fantastic typewriters all right If you have nicer manual typewriters, I really recommend having one of these, uh, like a 60s or 70s Smith Corona electric on hand, because um, sometimes you wanna sit down and do a, uh, a project that's typewritten, but you wanna just pump it out quickly um, and easily, uh, you're gonna love having one of these on hand. Okay, let's try the red ribbon. So the bell was ringing. Every time I heard the bell ring, I hit the return button. So let's go ahead and um, and you could see you can type. If you're a fast typist, you want something like this. But by the way, this is an amazing typewriter. Okay. Um, this time I'm not going to hit return handle when the bell goes off. So we can test the margin release. the bell okay so it stops now I hit MR for margin release and um, a lot of times you'll be in the middle of a thought or a word when that bell goes off and you don't want to hit return yet so that's what the margin release is for also um, when you're typing sometimes let's see sometimes you make a mistake so I misspelled that. And so what do you do when you make a mistake? You hit the backspace, but backspace does not erase. We're used to computers where the backspace would erase. So think of it as the arrow key, not the backspace return key. And you just type over it and um, keep going. And that's just part of using a typewriter. And then if it's a really big mistake, that's okay, just X through it. And 
keep going. It, it's really not a big deal. Now on the electrics, there's three keys that have an auto repeat. That's your gas, your X, and your period. Oh, you guys, this typewriter types like it's brand new. Like I said, even though the tab, let me show you, the tab works a little bit, but it's a little sluggish and I couldn't get it to clear. Um, so it's just not my favorite, okay? Let's see if it'll set. So it'll set. It sets fine. Um, let's see if that'll clear it too. So it did clear that, but I suppose since it wasn't really, nothing was really sent, it set, it was sluggish. So um, I take that back, it does work. Um, just make sure you have something set. Okay, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, this also has half space and power space. Gosh, you guys, this types like it's brand new. All right, love this thing. Thanks so much for watching. Would you please give us a thumbs up? That really helps us out a lot. All right, happy typing. Talk to you later.